right guys welcome back to Matlock's toy room reviews and today I finally have the uh, Marvel Legends Modok Build-A-Figure completed um, a really cool Build-A-Figure um, it was one that I just kind of anticipated um, not being that great and just really surprised me um, I've, I've just never really heard anybody say they like it I've heard a lot of people kind of trash about the size of it but uh, to me I mean it's really not that that far off from the real size. I mean, it is a little bit on the small side, but it's not that bad. Um, and just the amount of detail and everything they put into it, I think just makes up for that. Um, just give you a quick overview of it. It's got this really cool uh, blast off thing. It's a really crazy translucent red. It's not gonna pick up on there. It's just gonna pick up on the white and gray, I think. But uh, it's got this nice wash of white and gray. It looks like smoke. This is really cool looking. And then you come up into his chair, which uh, they put a lot of work into the chair. This is really cool. And then even on him, the face, uh, he's got some pretty cool hair up there. But the face is just crazy detailed. It looks really awesome. He's got the white eyes and just down to the grime around his teeth and everything. This looks really cool. Um, I just have like a few minor complaints. Uh, mainly, I, I guess just one complaint is the arms. Uh, didn't seem like they really like go down. They just kind of go out. If they were on a ball joint, which uh, if it is, it definitely doesn't work very well. But I don't think it is. Um, can't really tell. It kind of looks like it, but can't really operate it very well if it is a ball joint. But uh, I wish it just uh, swiveled down so the arm can come down because it just sticks straight out and that's about it. <clears throat> but uh, detail wise, this thing's amazing. They did a really cool job on it. Uh, size, he is uh, to the top of his head about 8 inches tall. So not too bad. I mean, pretty standard for the build of figures. And this was after uh, you know the price of plastic started going up. So uh, Toy Biz kind of had to downsize their uh, build of figures articulation and um, little blast part moves uh, swivel at the chair and then as far as on him um, at the top of the arm kind of swivels he has double jointed elbows a swivel at the uh, mid forearm at the top of the glove back and forward pivot in the wrist and he has individual finger articulation which is cool and I like his hands they look pretty cool and this one's kind of in a crazy karate chop pose, but you make a cool fist out of that one. And uh, his legs just kind of swivel as well. And then they have a double joint at the knee. And just a back and forward pivot at the foot. And it actually kind of looks, yeah, he has a side to side pivot for some reason. That's funny. This thing is how uh, he doesn't even stand up. Doesn't really need that uh, articulation, but uh, whatever. It's kind of funny and then he's got the little handle here and it kind of swivels around too but uh so you know it's not overly done uh definitely could use a few more things but uh you know i really have zero complaints for this figure um other than just the arms if they kind of swivel down a little bit but you know it's just a minor complaint but uh anyways just a really cool bath i definitely suggest getting it uh the whole uh wave was pretty good too it had a lot of cool characters in it um and a lot of variants too. Almost each character had a variant. But uh, anyways, that was the MODOK. Thanks for checking it out. 